Hello creatives, welcome to Cat's Creations live on a Friday night. I want to welcome you to my kitchen where tonight we are making a Grinch inspired Christmas wreath. So, um, wow, how did I say? I like had this whole thing going of what I was going to talk about. Oh, so yes, we will be working on the Grinch. You guys voted on the sign that you want and pretty much it was pretty close but the overall leader was the humbug sign which kind of seems like something that Grinch would say so we're gonna be using no humbugs allowed I had to think about what that said but if you guys are interested in the wreath you see over my right shoulder or over my left shoulder we are going to be making these I'm gonna be teaching you how to make two different styles of these pumpkin wreaths on my private group on Sunday at five o'clock. So if you're interested in joining my private group, just go to Cats Creations and more, the letter N, more.com, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see all the information about the private group. It's $17 a month and you have access to my entire library from February of 2018 till current all the business videos, all the how to start your Etsy shop, out of all the int Instagram and Pinterest uh, how to's, as well as all the tutorials you have seen me create for almost the last two years. Yeah, almost two years. I'll have to do something September 17th or 14th. I have to look at that. So, sound check. How do I sound? Do I have people? You have people? I have people. You have your peeps? I have yeah. my peeps. Peggy, uh, Hi, Peggy. On. Lou, uh, Julie, Kathy, Jane, Daisy, uh, Teresa, Susan, Debbie, and Christina so far. Okay, awesome. Yep. So um, what I'm doing is I'm changing it up a little bit. We're going to be doing the um, work frame rate. So these are the work frame rates you can get at any of your local hobby stores or retail stores like Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, um, wherever on the East Coast you guys have your own brand of craft stores, but they have the work frame wreaths that come with the tinsel ties already added. Some of them are kind of thick and soft, and some are the, what are called pencil um, tinsel ties, which are the very thin, very stiff ones. So this is a 14 inch, so it's not changing the diameter of our wreath. It's keeping it the same, and um, you'll need to count the number of tinsel ties you have. Generally, what they try to do is put the same number on the outside as on the inside, which doesn't make sense because the inside diameter is much smaller than the outside. So this one did have nine on the outside, nine on the inside. And what I did is I took one of the ones from the inside, moved it to the outside so that we would end up with an even number on both the inner and outer and not only that, this work frame is kind of a sunken center, which means that if you've seen the standard work frame wreaths, they usually have an inch elevation and then it kind of stays um, flat on the top, but this one kind of goes back down. So what that does is when you're going and creating your base, you're not going to have that two different types of levels where you're trying to hide that inch gap. So this is, is perfect for that um, purpose. So the technique we're gonna be using tonight is called the curl and weave. I've only showed it one time and I think it's almost a year ago today when we did the Farm Fresh Christmas Trees wreath. So this is something, because you guys have been asking what else can we do with the 21 inch wreath or deco mesh? Can we cut it down? Can we splice it? Can we use it for anything else other than poofs? And the answer today is yes. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Any other questions before we start? Um, well, Debbie Wesson, uh, since she said I sent you a question today, uh, what places can you order wreath rails at? Oh, well, you can order them from Craft Outlet, the Wreath Shop, Trendy Tree, uh, Deco Exchange, any of the places that sell. Um, Jane's Front Door Decor sells work frame wreaths. So pretty much just about anyone now, you can get your craft supplies through. And Christina said Gordon's is actually reopening their decorative store. Ooh. So they'll have ribbons, match, and et cetera. Oh, very good. Thank you, Christina. Uh, Daisy asked, how long are the ties with the twists on the frame? So 
Yeah. It should be about 12 inches, and then by the time they're tied, they're about 6 inches on each side. She's talking how long these are? Yeah. So one, two, they're 4 inches long. That's it? Just 4? Just they're 4 longer. inches. No, they're just okay. 4 inches. Exactly. Mm, four and a half inches. Just depends on where you're measuring them from. So, you're still going to get, I think the pipe cleaner is what yielded us about five and a half inches. But you'll see that once we go ahead and secure our decomission, mm -hmm. we're going to still have plenty left over to go ahead and add our ribbons and a ton of embellishments because, as you know, in Whoville, nothing kind of makes sense. Everything is kind of overdone and over the top. So this is what we're striving to achieve tonight if we can pull this off. So anything else before I go through the rest of the materials? Uh, Barbara, what she said. She said my craft store is closing in September. Hopefully, you have another one close enough. Oh, uh, you can always go online too. Uh, Simi said I just joined. Where do you get the sign from? Okay. You're the first one to ask. <laughs> yes, because I've been asked that question all day long. Where did you get the signs? Where did you get the signs? So the sign came from a group on Facebook called SNS Race and D Stash. Correct? Yes. Okay. I was making sure I said it right. So they're not on Etsy. They don't have their own store. So you have to find them on Etsy. They are a de-stash um, site. You have to find them on Facebook. Yes. What did I say? You said Etsy. Not, you can't find yeah. them on Etsy. You have to find them on Facebook. So what she does is she generally takes signs and then kind of puts together um, ribbons to kind of go with that. So when I saw the sign, I've had the Grinch for a while and I was waiting for the right sign to kind of put him all together and then just create it and be done with it. So um, that's what we're doing tonight. And as far as finding the Grinch, you just have to go Google search and try to find your own. Yeah, he's not available anymore. He is completely and utterly discontinued. I tried to find an equivalent of him online at like Amazon or eBay. eBay might be your better bet, but um, the ones that you're seeing now don't play music. It's just the actual Grinch. Some don't even have him in the Santa suit with the shoes. Some's just the hat and the Santa. So um, he's definitely a limited edition item. So this wreath, unfortunately, because it is licensed and trademarked, will not be available on my Etsy store. But if you reach out and notify me, um, message me or leave a comment, preferably message me because it's easier for me to find them rather than to dig through the comments let me know that you're interested in it and I will go ahead and give you a defined exact roughly shipping rate for how much this is gonna I'll yeah. have a base price but I won't know what the shipping costs are until we know what your zip code is Marcy said I love your 3d pumpkins oh thank you Marty hi he said yay Steve's home yeah barely yeah and then Daisy, I think that's right. She did put SNS wreath and D stash. Yes. So you just have to find it on Facebook. Yeah. I think when I typed it in SNS wreath, it had already come up. So to go ahead and start, what you're going to do is you're going to take your 21 inch deco mesh, and yes, you are going to cut it down um, into very small pieces, but I'm not cutting it this way. I'm leaving the 21 inch length, and all I'm doing is cutting it into 10 or 12 inch strips or 12 inch pieces and then um, we're going to roll it like a giant curl now you will need to use a wood burning tool i would not suggest trying to do a 21 inch i'm actually like almost not rotary cutter friendly anymore just because you can see the total difference in people who cut with a rotary cutter on their deco mesh and those who use the wood burning uh, tool to seal their edges you don't have as much fraying to contend with when you're finished with your product. So, um, what? Nothing. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So the first thing you wanna do, obviously it's easier, the closer you get to your deco mesh center because then it automatically does roll for you. So you're gonna roll them into, I wanna say about an inch and a half to two inch curls. And the first thing you're gonna do is if you just leave it this way, like leave it this way, your deco mesh has a tendency of folding instead of rolling. So if you kind of just do a little bit of a twist to it, then it kind of stays cone shape, which is what you want. And you want to bring it down to where you're about three inches from the bottom. So I'm gonna redo this. 
And I'm doing the outside 10 first. So I am kind of judging based on my rolls. It's like I have red, green, red. So right at the red, the second one, you're gonna kind of just create this little loop. Just like so, don't twist it too hard because then it really won't work. And then you're just going to create this little, it almost looks like a chevron ribbon, but with little tails on the end. So you have like this little loop and the two tails. This is called the curl and weave. Obviously because we're curling it, but we're also going to be weaving it. Um, so every single one will have the white with the red and green foil in it. And then I'm alternating what I'm weaving it in with between the red, which is a high foil, which means that every single piece of the deco mesh has foil in it. So I have high foil red and a high foil like lime green. That's about as close as I could get to the color in here. Barbara, that's awesome. She said she's sitting in her camper watching us. Awesome. I want to sit in your camper. I'll just create on the outside. So we're doing the same thing. Trying to get it to stay. Yes, Daisy, like an awareness ribbon. Yep. Exactly. So this is what you're doing. Just like this is going in every single, well, the ones that are white with the green and red foil. Right. The ones that are colored bands, we're going to leave them like this. And we're actually going to insert them into that hole we made. And you kind of have to finagle it a little bit to get them to hook. And then this one's actually going to hook into the pipe cleaner or tinsel tie next to it so that you have a weave. This is where you get the curl and weave from. So it should look like this. So this is where I started. They both go into a single pipe cleaner then you roll your secondary one in, and then you're going to weave or pop it in between, and then put it on the next one. Does that make sense? I'll show you guys a couple times. Obviously, we're gonna go around the whole wreath. Yeah, I've got it zoomed in a bit so they can see it. Okay, easy. so we're curling, just like so. Remember, if you get it to kind of curl, you can kind of keep it curled. And then this one now, believe it or not, is going to go right on top of the red one. So it's going to kind of go just like so. And it's going to kind of lean to the left. So we just secure it twice. And then this is where you get to play with your tails at the bottom so that you have kind of like... Uh, curls on the outside. Yeah. yeah, curls on the outside. And then just kind of interlock mm -hmm. them between. And now we're going to go ahead and add another one to our loop. So exact same way. Hi hey, yeah, guys, just joining. Simi says that is so cool. The the weave and curl, like yeah. I said. Oh, because everyone kept asking me, is there anything else we can do with these? And I'm like, yeah, can. So we're weaving that one through. So I try to make it look as nice as we can. And then we're gonna just put it in the tinsel tie right next to it. So it's it's gonna look really cool when it's done. So you kind of have these things that look like donuts. And as you can see, it's already elevating the wreath. So doing it to the outside um, first just makes it easier to work with. It's a little harder when you do the inside and then try to come to the outside. So again, you can tell which ones I was playing with, because I was like, man, it's been so long. It's been a year. I haven't made one of these in a long time. So. Uh, Marisol, um, what, what do you mean? Where did you get it from, Regina Sellers? No, nothing came from Regina Sellers. This one, unless the idea, I don't remember, where was the idea come from on the I don't know. Weave? Somebody asked me if I could teach <laughs> that. Oop, I put it in the wrong one. So it's going to the next one. It goes right on top. Um, I don't know. I think someone just asked. They're like, hey, can you, there's this thing called a curl and weave. Have you heard of it? Can you teach us how to use it? Because that's usually how it all comes through. 
So as you can see, it's kind of creating its own little pattern. So I'll keep spinning it around so you guys can see. Mm -hmm. And then we will do this one. They said my fiance and I are having our Friday night date night uh -huh. at home, so I'm able to watch you. He's watching too and says he's he will help uh, me with my Facebook lives like Steve does. That's awesome once I start doing them. It's really good awesome, to have somebody help just to read the comments. I think um, what you generally will figure out watching enough Facebook's lives is the things you like and don't like about Facebook lives. You know, if you don't like how somebody does something, then when you get ready to do your own, it kind of becomes a how-to of what you're not going to do on your own Facebook lives. So see what it's doing? It's just like looping them all together. So again, these are all 21 inch pieces cut with a wood burning tool to 12 inch little strips. I didn't cut my 21 inch down. And then if you just lightly twist it, it should keep that cut edge kind of to the inside. And then we're going to put this right on top of the red one, kind of looped to the side, just like so. And then we try to just tuck it in between the other ones. So this way what it's doing is it's kind of coming in and like Steve says, it's creating curls to the outside. Now keep in mind we're going to add ribbon and a ton of embellishments to the um, tinsel ties that are left. Mm -hmm. So we're back to green. This is a bit different than the one that I've seen that's the Jackie Weave before, because the Jackie Weave, basically from what I'm seeing, the curls are on the outsides and the, the weave kind of just weave each other and they face each other. The, the curl doesn't go in. So it does look a little bit different, but it does look very similar to the one that's called the Jackie Weave. I just pulled up a video and, and looked at it to see oh. how she was doing it. Okay. That says the Jackie weave. Um, and though she is weaving through, the design is different. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I was just, this is what I did last year. Yeah. And we did the Christmas tree farm with... So yeah, it's, it's very similar. So here we go. Julie Wickham said it's Jackie Blewett design. Oh, very cool. So yeah. So our goal is to like find a way to keep the cut edges to the back if possible. So and we're just going to squish everything together, kind of fluff as we go, and it should all come together. I think the more you do it, the thicker it gets, it starts to push it'll start to push all these up is what ends up happening. Mm -hmm. And then when we do the, the inner one, it's going to fill that interior space really nicely so that our Grinch can sit in the middle. Shelly, the, the signs are from S&S Reads D Stash on Facebook. They don't have an Etsy shop, so you just have to find them on Facebook. You know why they don't have an Etsy shop, right? Right, because it's trademarked. Yeah, this particular sign would be trademarked. So legally, nobody has the rights to this. I think Hobby Lobby does, because Hobby Lobby came out with a lot of Grinch stuff last year. So the thing just to remember is that every solid color is going to get a white with the bands of color laid on top of it to create the loop for the next um, mm -hmm. solid color to go. And then you're alternating colors. And I'm alternating well. colors just so that it gives it that nice holiday Christmas effect. Yep. So just like so. And then we're laying this right on top of our red. Sometimes it's handy just to kind of fluff and then figure out where you can position it best. So I'll just keep showing it to you <laughs> as I build them. It's a fun design. It's amazing how these women have come up with so many different designs on how to make a race. 
And I remember when I started, there was just deco mesh, three different ways. There was um, evergreen and grapevine. Hmm. That's it. You had ruffles, uh, poofs, and curls. There's a Carrie McDonough that said, Hi, Can't See if I just joined your private group. She this week. did. So excited. I need to know if there's a link or password I need to access on Sunday private group. Nope. You just go to the Facebook Cats Creations private group page and you'll be able to view it. That's what, yeah. That's what yeah. we'll start our video. Yeah. yeah. Everything is there. So it's not password protected. It's Hi. just. Once you're in, you can be in and look at yeah. anything and everything that's there. Hi gals, just join in. Patty, Michelle, Julie, uh, yeah. Daisy, that's true. She said this is a great way to use the ends of the 21 inch deco mesh. Yes, and believe it or not, that's what I did with the green, is mm -hmm. I had just enough left over to, um, well, I only needed nine. And I think I still had a little bit left so I was like should I keep it should I throw it away I'm like oh, I'll keep it <laughs> never know when you need just like one more piece of something because you came up just a tad bit short so okay red Julie said welcome to the group Carrie <laughs> yes I know we've had a lot we've had hi. hi Olga I didn't say hi earlier she said it's been a while since she's been on oh thanks for joining us yeah thanks for joining live so I'm trying to talk Stephen to go into Shinoda tomorrow. I need ribbon. Yeah. Because Lynn okay. said she's going to put me on an intervention at the end of the month. And I'm like, well, I still have 10 days then. So I think I'm good. I'll just have to go shopping before then. And our good friend Jackie Mason is on. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. So we're doing our Grinch wreath tonight. So... It looks pretty because I just like this design in the deco mesh anyway. I think it just, it looks really mm -hmm. nice because it's not just deco mesh kind of curled. It actually has a point and a purpose. Welcome so, Patty. She said new watcher from Georgia. Thanks for joining me, Patty. What city are you from? We have a lot of gals in that general area. I have right on the east coast. Yeah. Hi CT, hi Wilhelmine. Hi Sue. I'm trying to keep my tinsel ties fluffed where I need them to be. Just so that they're ready for once we get this done. This is just the most time consuming thing is just rolling it and then bending it, getting it to go inside the folds without getting snagged on the, the cut edges. This is why burning it with a wood burning tool is most beneficial over doing it with a rotary cutter. See, there's a couple, with this much play. There's a couple of gals already saying they're, they're in like right outside of Savannah, Georgia. Oh, awesome. So they're close to one another. And see, doing that slight twist keeps your, your curls round and you don't want them flat and folded. So I am almost the end of our inside. I think See. we have a couple mm. more pieces. Daisy know they said looks great and love it. Do you guys like this design? Is this something new for you guys that you've never seen before? Or have you guys seen this? And no, a couple gals said that um, they wanted to try it. Mara said, wow, this is so neat. The Kerlin and, weave. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because people will look at it and go, what did you do? And Boba's off and running. Yep. So. And there he goes. <laughs> he's letting us know he's here. Why he runs, nobody knows. Hi, Trixie. She said, been so busy watching Cat, I forgot to say hi to you both. Oh, thanks, She's from Trixie. Louisiana. Yep. And then Jack said she was, sorry, it took so long to say hi. She was trying to share the live. Oh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, this is in the public group, so you guys feel free to share. It's a lot easier to find on your page when you're ready to try this technique on your own because this video by the end of the week, well, it stays at the top through the week, but then it'll get buried and then buried and then buried. 
Uh, Carrie, this is a 14 inch uh, work frame form. Mm -hmm. It was just one of the ones I had in my garage, so I just grabbed it and I was like, oh, that green looks good. At first I had red and I was like, mm, I don't want red. I really don't want red. I want green. And then, um, I'll, I'll answer this. She asked what each color is cut. Oh, okay. So you have 18 of the white with the red and green stripes mm -hmm. because there's 18 ties between the outside and the inside. And then the green and the red are alternating, so nine of each. Correct. So this one just gets added to my white one that I already did how I started. So that you have completed your circle of weaving curls and then now, believe it or not, looks scary, uh, we need to do the inside ones. <laughs> so I'm just going to actually pull them forward one at a time and do them. And then what ends up happening is all these spaces in between is where you're going to get more of those curls mm -hmm. popping through and then look at the size of our center already. It's getting smaller. So it's crazy to think we've yeah. got to fit another eight, eight, yeah, eight in there. Yeah, Debbie said never seen it. Love it. Able to tell, like you don't, you have to kind of play with that little cut edge. And I know they always say to try to make sure you put the cut edge on the back. But honestly, if we kept it. Let me undo this. If we kept the cut edge to the back, you get a fold and not a curl. Yeah. So, if we did it this way, see what I'm saying? You get this happening the minute you try to curl. Your, your open end just tries to open and then you end up getting that. So if you just slightly twist it, then you get your curl and it stays curled. Okay. That's a great tip. Yeah. Uh, Barbara, the wood burning tool you can get on Amazon. You can find it with a lot of places. I think Cat, it's on Cat's affiliate link on Amazon. They're it's, only about fifteen bucks. They really are not yeah. that expensive at all. Fifteen dollars. So I'm pulling these forward. So I'm gonna put red here because I kind of have green right in front, but then it'll set the tone for the you know the pattern that develops after that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Carol, they're cutting 12 inch strips. Yep. 12 inch strips, yep. Of your one primary color that you're going to use and then nine of the other two colors. Right, so if you're only going to do. Um of the other, or however many. Um you want to do it, yeah. pieces you have. So this is now going to fill my center. So here we go again. You just have to remember, that like in this case, my white is going on top of every solid piece. How do I link them? I totally forgot how to link them again. And it's you have your ones that go on top of your solids, and then remember you separate your little curly cues. Cheryl so earlier, this is what you're gonna have. Yeah. Cheryl earlier said this is new for me. I just finished my braided or my first braided fabric wreath in Christmas colors. So I'm feeling, feeling the Christmas spirit. Follow yeah. Along. <laughs> I know. I have to get started on Christmas. I think um. I keep saying I'm done with Halloween and I'm done with fall and it's like, and then I go to the store and I find new pretty fall ribbon. Get this one twisted. Or um, some sign or some embellishment and then I think, oh, that was like pretty. I should just make that. And that will be the end. And it's not. Uh, well, I mean, ask where did you get your deco mesh from? Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to think. The white with the foils, this came from Michaels in 2015. The red came from Hobby Lobby in 2010, but I know you can still get it. And 2010? Then, 
Yeah, that's what the label said, Hobby Lobby 2010. And then um, the green foil, you can get at Craft Outlet. So I'm almost confident you can find all these colors at Craft Outlet or the Rich Shop. Fortune, I think closer to Christmas you'll be able to get the two high foil green and red at Hobby Lobby too. Um, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen anything, so I don't know. Um, as far as I know, all three of those are kind of like the high foil deco mesh, not just the normal. So. See, I was getting ready to put this in its own little tube, and I'm like, uh, it has to go on top of our solid. So solid. So I gotta stick it on top of my green and then <clears throat> separate your curls and keep your loops. And now we're red. It is really small in the inside. Sure said, I love watching your videos. You've been a great inspiration. Making wreaths is great therapy for my recovery from stroke. That's awesome. Oh, that's really good. Hope you're doing very well and on your way to recovery. Yes, absolutely. Michelle, yes, the Grinch, the Grinch does have batteries. Yes, he comes with batteries. <laughs> I'll turn him on in a little bit. I actually put new batteries in him, so he like really is going, like his Energizer Bunny going now. So, yes, he's like they play the Grinch song. So, let's see. Does he do other ones? He probably has other ones too. No, he just does the one. Just the one. Just the one. Yeah, the one is enough. I'm like, and then you walk around and you're singing that song all the day, all day. So can you see this? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna turn him on. You just press this little button, and that's what he does. So I'm gonna go on and keep going. on I didn't try eBay but Amazon had nothing with a singing Grinch they just have him in a plush they had a puppet um that's pretty much it yes I be we do not own the rights to this music <laughs> I do not own the rights to that music but it's it comes just, with the Grinch when you buy it yes so you can see it does work he does play music yeah. so I'm having to pick up my loops from the outside and move these over so you're seeing that you kind of remember what i was saying is that your curls are kind of filling in those little spaces so like all these are going to be filled with curls from the inside you just can't forget where you leave off because it starts to look really full Someone said, I feel your pain, believe it or not, after a major supply purchase, I ended up spending more at Michael's tonight. I thought I'd sure for sure I was done. <laughs> nope, you need to join the intervention club. You see me say, hi, I need that Grinch in my life. I know. I think I had somebody like message me and said they just wanted to buy the Grinch and the sign, and I'm like, mm, he's kind of going in the wreath I'm making tonight. So. Amazon, I'm sure you can find him. He's not on Amazon. Well, I mean, you can find something dissimilar. He doesn't sing, though. But yes, you can find a plush Grinch. Just remember, you can't list them on your Etsy shop. No. You can't say anything rights. to do with the Grinch. You just have to say Christmas. You can't. Or, or PM me. Yes. Right. Message me. You can show pictures of them all day long on Facebook and say, hey, this is available if you like it. Message me. But you cannot post them on your Etsy shop. So I'm trying to find all my fluff, fluff ones. I'm trying to get these to fluff better. <laughs> and so she's added to the intervention list, I know people. I know, she does. I'm still going shopping before you start your intervention. <laughs> okay, so 
always remember that your solid curls get mixed with your white curls. Gabby said try eBay. Yeah, yes. Be good. I think eBay would probably be about. <clears throat> but it's crazy because there's ones that are dressed like him. They're like forty nine ninety nine, and I'm like, e no. Yeah. So. It's got to be a reasonable enough price. Uh, yes, she's putting both the sign and the Grinch in there. Believe it or not. It's like, where is it going to fit? Yeah. She'll cover up a little bit of the Grinch's belly. Um, with the sign, yeah. yeah he's going to hold the sign. Like he's protesting that there's no hum humbugs. And I'm thinking this is pre-Bad Grinch. So before he had the huge eye-awakening moment with the Who's and changed his who he was. Okay, red. Red? Nope, green. I was gonna say. I was gonna hey. tell you they're probably gonna be green. And, yeah. <laughs> I know, green, and then I have. Yeah. I think there's one on the floor. Hi, Cheryl. How you doing? I think it rolled to the floor. Terry said I have that Grinch among my collection in Village of the Grinch. Oh, really? Plus, I make trees, quilt, and tree scripts all in Grinch. That's oh, awesome. wow. So, here we're just. I keep lifting up the ones in front and then adding it to my twist ties in the center. So there's that. Oops. Yep. I was like, wait, look, I have counter space again. <laughs> How can you stick these in a like, little basket on the side? You can't. Right, Andrea, she said, never enough supply is bad that Michaels and Joanne sends me coupons. I, I can't help myself. <laughs> it's just, see, join the intervention. Come be a part of the intervention. Oh, Carol said, checking in late, I was on a pumpkin reef frame mission. Oh, did you find any? That's the, that's the key thing is, did you find any? So two more. <clears throat> Trying to find the little tinsel pie things. Carol said, beautiful, um, that was a good idea. Oh, who said that? Oh, Jelly Bean Crafts. Oh, That's okay. a cute name. She said, I would put a pipe cleaner on my first loop so I didn't lose my starting place. That would be a good thing. Let's see. I try to just get it to about the halfway point and then re-fluff it. Push this back in because we're limited on our real estate right now. Because this is a very tight center, <clears throat> but there's nothing else you can do. So we're just kind of popping them up. So this. Oh, Benita, I hope you're doing well. She says, "Hi, I'm here from the hospital. Hopefully, you're just visiting, not, yeah. yet, not in the hospital, not staying, right?" Okay, I was like, wait a second, where are we? I feel like these almost feel, it's weird, it feels like intestines. Because they're just like these little, these little loops of something. Like our large sausages. Wow, Daisy said uh, after 10 stores, I did find them. Okay, the so. Brands. Terry said I found two by chance. You just really need one. But I can honestly tell you, once you figure out how simple they are to make and the different variations you can make, the sad thing is pumpkins are really only for like fall slash Halloween and then that's it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is our last one. And then we get to add our Grinch. Add wow, Candy said $350 later to Dollar Tree. Found it all, bought it all, LOL. Three hundred a dollar tree? How do you spend that? That had to have been a truckload. <laughs> yeah, all right. So these are the ends. This was just like the beginning of an end. So I wanted to make sure I pulled all that out. Wow. And then Carol said she got 10. Her husband called 14 stores and finally found some. Well, you've got a good husband. Yes, you do. Most definitely. So this one is just going right on top of our other one. Sherry, she's doing the Dollar Tree Pumpkin Frame on her private group on Sunday. Yeah, so if you want to join our private group, come join us. Unless you're already in it. Sherry Gardner. Oh, man. Hold on a second. 
second. I have a piece that is just, I hate little stringy things like these. Usually it's, you have to get it to the end. So see why, look, the only really fraying I had getting through all that weaving and twisting and pulling, just the end. it was just the end of those two little green tubes and that's it. That's my mess from that. So this is why cutting your deco mesh, especially this particular type of deco mesh with a wood burning tool is beneficial. And then look, that's what it makes. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, it's really, it's tight. There's just a tiny little hole in it. And there's that from the back. So mm -hmm. see, it looks amazing either way you look at it. So now, believe it or not, we're gonna put our Grinch. He's actually gonna sit on this lovely little base. And then I'm not gonna worry about the um, tinsel ties on the inside. It kind of corresponds with him, what he's wearing. Like I said, based on the voting today, you guys picked the, um, what do you call it? No humbugs allowed. So the other option was welcome to Whoville. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Um, that's what we're gonna add to him. <laughs> so in order to affix him to the wreath, first I have to affix his sign. Sherry said I am and I can't wait. Good, awesome. Awesome. It's gonna be a super, super simple class and I'll give you, if you click on the event for um, the Sunday Live, I think I've already gone in there and told you what you'll need to have handy. Depending upon what you want to do, there's a quite a variety of different techniques that you can do. This sign also comes with the holes already pre-done and they're fairly big holes. So let's see, just like so. And we're gonna go ahead. I want to keep his hands up like so. I'm trying to figure out how do I want to attach the sign. I might attach the sign. I might just yeah, you probably have to touch him first. Attach obviously. him and then attach the sign. So this way if you wanted to pull the <clears throat> sign out, if you wanted to pull the Grinch out, I try to keep it to where um, people can take them apart and utilize them. Even my baseball wreaths, you can take the baseballs off and use them. Uh, so we're gonna go right underneath his belt with, I wanna say it's 22 gauge. It is 22 gauge floral wire. And cause I don't want to slice into his material. And we're just gonna go ahead. Hook him around the belt. Hook him around the belt. Cause you need his bottom open. Cause he does have an on and off switch. Yikes. Yeah. Don't look. Don't look. Um, <laughs> He does have an on and off switch, so batteries are in, batteries come with a little um, Phillips head screw. So to change out the batteries, you just take off your Phillips head screw, three AA batteries, and then you can turn the switch on and off to get that to last um, till the end of whatever, to the end of the season, or if you just don't want people turning him on and off, I'm actually going to situate him here he looks so comfy. It's like the bed was made perfectly for him. All right. Well, Benita, she said one day surgery and I've been in for four days and staying tonight. Hope you feel better and hope it went well. Um, oh, Julie said found that Grinch on eBay. Awesome. Okay. Julie, what's the price on eBay? <laughs> I'm curious. Okay. I'm just trying to find um, some wire to attach him to. because this is a different center. So that's probably just attach him up to the top, huh? Well, I'm attaching him sideways. So one wire's going this way, and then one wire's going the total opposite direction. Gotcha. So that he will not come out. And I'm trying to attach him to a crossbar. So I'm trying to pull his, there he goes. We want him to sit in there mm -hmm. so he doesn't go anywhere. 
Uh, Simone, the Grinch we've had for quite a while. Um, I'd say like what two years? At least two years. I just haven't found anything. Yeah. To um, I wasn't happy with any of the stuff that I was finding. There he goes. And then the sign is from S and S Reeds and D Stash on Facebook. And then you can separate. So this is where he's going <clears throat> to sit. Depends on how far you want him in, how far you want him out. So then he's going to actually hold our sign. So now I'm going to take this sign. Uh, Teresa said eBay ranges from 32 to 40 from what I saw. That's, okay, so, so that's a little high, but I mean, uh, it's not battery it operated, right? It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, they had ones that didn't play music, um, that were dressed the same. Mm -hmm. But those were like forty nine ninety nine on Amazon, and I was like, mm, no, I'm gonna have to loosen that. So as long as they work, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to find my frame, and I got it. So hang tight. I'm gonna adjust the other one and bring it up. Take his hand out. And because I pulled this one way down too far. Okay. There we go. Now he's not in there so far. And we'll fluff out his little. Frame. Yeah, I would literally. I'd try, I'd try searching for Grinches everywhere. Okay. So now he's in there. We're gonna add a bow, believe it or not, you guys are like, what else can you possibly stick in here? Um, let me go around and I'll add the ribbons to the outside. So we're just gonna do the outside 10. We can't really get in here on here, but we are gonna definitely put a nice big Grinchy bow with all the embellishments. So um, the ribbon, there's six different ribbons. So let me show you. We're doing the two and a half inch it's red with the holiday polka dots. These are cut to 14 inch pieces. I have three of each. And then we have the mesh with the green. Mm -hmm. These are also cut to 14 inches. And then I call this the red and white film strip because it looks like the old fashioned film strip ribbon. Yeah. Again, 14 inches. All the ribbon that I'm using today came from Hobby Lobby. So Hobby Lobby right now, all their Christmas ribbon is a solid 40% off. You don't need to have a coupon in order to take advantage of the 40%. So my recommendation to you is go to all your local places that are now putting their holiday items on sale. And if you like it, pick it up now. I will tell you last year, first week of December, there was virtually nothing left in Hobby Lobby except like your big rolls of solid red, solid green, or buffalo print. Um, one and a half inch ribbon. These are all cut to 16 inch pieces. So we have the lime green with the Merry Christmas. We have the polka dot with the green. And then we have the red and white with the Christmas tree. Again, with the, um, what do you call it? The Grinch, it's very over the top. So you need a lot of color in order to, um, make this one pop. Jackie said I forgot how to do those ends again. I need to get with you on this. The ends? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know if the ends of the ribbon. Just how the to dovetail? dovetail? Yeah. I'll show you how to dovetail. Like when we get ready to do the bow, yeah. I'll show you how we dovetail the ends. Julie, um, she said I can't seem to find that D stash site. It's um, on Facebook, I, so. I will post the link. So if you're in my private group, it will be, you get the links already in the materials list. If you're not in my private group, I will, when we finish, um, post the link in the comments. So I'm just going around and adding these all to the outside ribbon. And I only have nine because remember I'm taking one of my external ones on the outside and that's gonna be incorporated into our bow. So I'm just alternating these. So I'm just kind of going mesh, red and green. 
and I wanted these to stick out a little bit further. So that's why I cut these to 14 inch instead of my usual 13 inch. So I really wanted them to extend beyond the, um, to almost match up with the curls to kind of be even with those. So do you guys have any questions at all? It's kind of going along pretty good. I'm trying to keep my pattern going. So folding them in half helps you figure out where center is. And then what I do is I just gather them like so and just set them right on top of those Pencil ties. I don't need to twist them four or five times like you do with a pipe cleaner, but I do need to get them underneath the loops. Since said so loving this wreath, I mean, really, the the curl and weave method is so pretty. It's you almost don't even need the ribbon, but the ribbon just gives it extra pop. It's grunge. It has to go over the top, <laughs> right? Because yep. the town of Whoville, everything was over the top. And he has to be, what is it, the, what is he called, the, mm -hmm. something, Meister? I can't remember what it was called. Somebody will think of it. Oh, in the movie? Yeah, in the movie. Uh, where he Cheermeister. won the Cheermeister, yeah. Yeah. So in Whoville, he was the Cheermeister. Um, so, 16 is tail for all six ribbon tails? Or no. are they what? 14 inch for the two and a half, 16 for the one and a half. Gotcha. Yep. Just making sure I'm... And then you do a two and a half inch in each tail on the outside? And just then the outside except for one. And then the one and a half on the inside, on inside it, right? Inside the... The one and a half over the two and a half. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Because I'm saving all the embellishments really for the bow. So that like when we add a big bow to him, it's gonna have curly cues and twist ties and jingle bells all kind of popping out of the bow. So that's my theory anyway. It's his my theory. Very good question. She said, why is the inch and a half ribbon cut longer? I'll show you. <laughs> so right now, I'm like, I think I'm gonna move this one over. I'm gonna put my bow right in this general area. So I want it to show over here. So, um, okay, this is the look you get with 14 inch ribbon. So it's just, it's kind of competing with the curls on the inside. So now when we take the inch, and a half. the inch and a half, and what I do is I do what's called a half bow. So it's almost like the curl and weave, right? It's just like this where you're gonna take it and you're gonna pinch it about two inches from the top. So you have a two inch loop, total of four. And then what you're gonna do is this is gonna go inside each one of the external tinsel ties. And then once it's secured in, you're gonna take it and you're gonna fan the tails out so you kind of have this loop and tails. It fills the gap. Fills. It fills the gap. So even though I'm not cutting my tinsel ties off because they stay in with the same color palette here, I'm trying to decide which colors I want to go with what. I think this is too busy. I think this is going to go with the mesh. This will go with this. The red. Yeah. And then polka dots. No. Can't have polka dots with polka dots. Polka dots with stripes. So I'm going to add this now to my tinsel tie. This one's the short one. I had one short one because I moved it from the inside. So you just kind of create that little... Trying to get so the other thing is the two and a half inch ribbon is all cut to 14 inch mm -hmm. and the inch and a half ribbon is all cut to 16 inch. Yep. And then we said this went on the plain mesh. So I'm just trying to remember where these are. So again, you're doing that two. It literally is two inches and that's where I have my pinch. This will go into my tinsel tie 
and I'll give it a couple good twists. And then you flip the loop open and then you pull the tails to the side so that you have what looks like this. And then we said Merry Christmas. Mary, that's funny. Looks, she says the ribbon looks like a mini octopus with just two legs. <laughs> it does, right? So. Yeah. Brenda, good question. Um, well, because she's not going to post this, um, it's not on the video, but she's, she will sell it for... Oh, you want to know how much I'm selling it for? Yeah. $149.99. That's with shipping included to anywhere in the United States except for Alaska and Hawaii. Because obviously overseas shipping is a little more. So yes, that's what this one is. So if you look, this is what I'm doing is adding these little half bows to finish off the rest of that ribbon look. So this is where it's going. So if you're interested in purchasing it, message me privately. I'm going to go with whoever messages me first and reach out to you tonight and get all of your shipping information and then um, we'll figure out what's the easiest way for you to do a payment whether it's PayPal invoice or other so I'm just finishing that look yep David that's perfect he said so 14 inch tail of two and a half inch mm -hmm. tail uh, first Yep. And and then a 16 inch tail of inch and a half into a half bow on top. Yes. Yep. Perfect. You could make these into um, total bows. Like you're just going to have four tails. It's going to be like a weird bow. But I've done those before. It looks really pretty. Especially if you get two corresponding ribbons that look really good together. Mm -hmm. Like you could go like this. And then these are the only ones I have left. Or no, I have the Merry Christmas ones. You go like this, and then half bow, right? Half loop. You take them, you put them together, and then you would just separate the tails the same way. So then you have multicolor bow. Yeah, it just has more tails than another one would. And I love this Merry Christmas ribbon. This ribbon, along with the polka dot one, this one here, was the one that inspired me. I had to make a Grinch wreath. It just called out and said it needs to be made. These are ribbons for a Grinch. And we will be doing a Charlie Brown Christmas one. And I have, I think I have almost all of the characters to go in that wreath. So I have Snoopy, Woodstock, Charlie Brown, Linus, Lucy, I think that's it. I just got to come up with a color scheme and wreath type to do. Now this one's upside down. The words are upside down, so I'm going to flip it. So that it's in this way so that my words will be right side up. There we go have to have it say Merry Christmas the right way, right? Mm -hmm. So as you can see, there's the Merry Christmas. We just spun it around the opposite way. One of the other layers, either Teresa or Daisy asked, when you're not doing the videos, what um, if you're not doing the videos and you're just making a wreath, mm -hmm. do you do you put it on a wreath easel? No. No. She always does Just it on like the kitchen the, counter. Yeah. Exactly like you're watching me do it here is exactly how I make grease. Although the ones, the pumpkin ones, I sat on the couch and do it. Yeah. Because it was just like, I had to figure it out first. And then I'm like, okay, how can I make this easier? Because this is way too hard for me. It's too hard for me. I'm like, I have to realize that some people are going to struggle with that. So I have to keep, find a different way, find an easier way. There has to be an easier way. Okay. Almost finished with this. Then we'll add a jumbo bow because he needs a bow. And then we're going to add mm -hmm. curlicues and jingle bells. So it will be everything that you can possibly think of to add to 
a musical wreath. So making sure my words are going to be right side up before I go ahead and twist tight in there. And the nice thing about this is because it's done with a curl and weave, the only thing you're going to have to do year after year is just fluff out your ribbons. You know, it'll stay in the same box that it came in and you'll just fluff out the ribbons if they are laying flat and just grab them by the loops and just pull and then just fluff out your tails. So what do you guys think so far with all the bows and tails? Looks pretty good. So now, yeah. I have to make a, now I have to make a bow. A lot of them saying that. So it's going to go in here. A lot of them saying they're loving this throughout the whole thing. Um, Cynthia, the deco mesh, I'm sure, pretty sure you can find most of it at Craft Outlet. Go to Craft Outlet is yep. what I would think. Because I know for a fact that you can get the green and the red foil. You can probably get something similar. I'm trying to take these all out. These are all the things that are going in our bow. So we're actually going to have all these things. Jean, uh, she said, first time last week I signed up, but I haven't heard anything back from you. Uh, where are you located? Jean from Napa Valley. We're down in Victorville, California, Jean. Did you sign up to be in my private group? Because normally I get notified that um, you've inquired and then when your payment goes through, I, I get an email right away that says, hey, so-and-so signed up to be in your private group. And then I go into the private group and verify um, that you put in a request. And then I just instantly approve you. Um, trying to determine, because you don't want to cover pin, you don't want to cover the sign. So I'm going to try to keep my loops fairly small. So I'm going to try to use all the ribbon. We'll see. I don't know. Jean said yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, she did drive. Yes, yeah, she yeah. did join up. Yeah. How, can you access the private group page? Would be the first thing I'm going to ask. So these are going to be tails of eight inches. So we're probably going to do some pretty big loops. I know we want to say five. I'm sure all that ribbon is the two and a half inch ribbon that she's working with right now. Yeah. From Hobby Lobby. Look, it was all in Ben I. Because they're all like literally right next door to each other. <laughs> I think I just went in and I was like, take one of those, one of those, one of those. I'm like, that all work. Don't even need to like, well, <clears throat> does this one go? Well, I mean, that's the tough part. So she said when you post this on Etsy, mm -hmm. you just can't call it a Grinch tree. I can't post this on Etsy. Right. Period. Can't. I can post it on Facebook and say, hey, if you're interested in this wreath, message me. You can um, post it on your private website. Yeah, I can post it on my website. Um, I'm not going to post it on my website because I still don't, you can still receive a cease and desist letter from whoever owns the rights to Dr. Seuss. So it'll just go on Facebook and say, hey, if you're interested, just message me. There's people who do that all day long yep. and sell football stuff, college stuff. Um, Cause you can do it from your Facebook page because it's just a one item. So this is the only one that will be created. Yeah. I cannot, I won't have another Grinch. Oh, Jane, she said she was originally from Riverside. So yeah, awesome. And we have somebody down there in Riverside too. But she's up in Napa Valley now. Oh, so she's up there in Northern California. Beautiful wine country, yep. Gotcha. The easiest, because I can just get in there and do what I need to do. It's all going to be about the twist. So you're always going to twist, starting right. the wrong side fabric facing up so that as you come up you're going to twist and then I put my fingers in them and just pull to make sure that my loops are the same
Yeah, well, I mean, that's the only tough part about making reads that have some sort of copyrighted full yes. image. Yes. That's the tough part. You can make them. You yep. can, you know, people can message you and say, because um, I get asked this question all the time, can you make a Jack Skellington read? Can you do a Nightmare Before Christmas read? Can you do a, a I don't know, it's clown wreath or whatever. Charlie the Brown answers, wreath. yeah, Charlie yeah. Brown Christmas wreath. The answer is yes, sure. Custom orders all day long. Can you list a custom order listing on Etsy? The answer is yes. As long as it would be like, if Steve was buying this wreath on Etsy, it would say custom order for Steve Smith. Doesn't have pictures, doesn't have nothing. Yep. It's just a way for him to go ahead and complete the purchase. And then he's also part of the whole Etsy guarantee that, you know, he gets, he makes sure that he gets his item. Yep. As he said, the ribbons are lovely. Don't you love these ribbons? Yep. I am just in love with ribbons. And Melody, um, Jean had said earlier she's up in Napa Valley. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thought she was. But, you know what's funny is we're starting to have a lot more California people join. Yeah, that is true. So... I'm thinking we need to do some West Coast event, man. A West Coast wreath make thing for us that live on the west side of Texas or people who want to come out and visit mm -hmm. the west. That would be awesome. Kathy, absolutely. She said, can you sell them at craft shows? Yes, you can. All day long. One item. So these are one of a kind items. Right. Think of them as custom orders. Because that's technically what they are. So if somebody was to ask you to make a Grinch wreath, this would be my idea of a Grinch wreath. So let me show you how to do the dovetails. Because that's what I think somebody had asked. Jackie, yeah. You take your wired edges, you put the wired edges together, and then you're going to cut from the fold to the point of your wired edge. So from here all the way to the point. And then that way, when you open it, you have the perfect um, dovetail, ducktail, whatever you want to call it, mm. little end of an arrow kind of piece. Oh, that's a good question. So, can you make a pin on Pinterest with it? Yes, you can. By all means, you can. You can say, this is a custom order I did for a customer who was looking for a Grinch wreath. If you're interested in a wreath like this, please message me. Yep. There you go. That's how you get around all that stuff. There's nothing that says that you cannot make a copyrighted item for a private order. Private, yeah. If you look at the trademark laws, it basically says that you cannot utilize this image. People know this is French, this is Dr. Seuss, to gain sales, which means that you couldn't really sell this wreath. <coughs> Excuse me, without people knowing this is a bread tree. Right. <coughs> so there's your copyright. He's super cute. He's super cute. So I'm just doing what I call like, um, what do you call it? Two loop bows. <coughs> Each color has two loops. So that, you know, God, six ribbons are going to have 12 loops total. And these. <coughs> probably inhaled glitter. <laughs> glitter. Do you think it would be cute to have maybe a couple really long tails and curl them so they hang down? We could. We could take the Merry Christmas ribbon and make it longer. Is that something you want to see? Yeah, that'd be cute. What if you hate it? Then yeah, we can always come down, right? <laughs> That's right. So yeah, see? As you're creating your, I don't really have, I haven't looked at some pattern for this wreath and went, oh, that looks pretty. I think I'll make one just like that. It's, I fell in love with this ribbon and this ribbon and I had a Grinch. And I was like, okay, what do I want to make with it? Yeah, that was last year, too. <coughs> well, I did a Grinch one last year. Yeah, I did. 
and I sold them at a craft fair and I just used elf legs so they had like the little red shoes and it had green mm -hmm. material so it kind of looked like the Grinch was in there and all you saw was the legs sticking out mm -hmm. so you can get around it that way because uh, the sign had the Grinch on it I think right Didn't um no, no. Me? I don't know maybe I'm trying to think it was it was the whole like um, saying about the Grinch how you know his heart grew three sizes that day or whatever it was so Steve wants long tails I don't know I think that's gonna look weird but we'll go long you These have are to, if you want to keep to your design 15 inches uh, Jean said I'll try to join again around payday the first of the month. No, oh, okay. No problem. My husband retired from the fire department city in Riverside. Uh, then they really retired in Napa about 14 years ago. She said uh, I'll agree. I'll be there in Victorville. Just send me the date and time if wherever you want to. No, there's like people in <laughs> Arizona. You just do it at Shenoda. Just meet up and. I could talk to the people there and ask them if they would be open to doing like yeah. a wreath maker thing, and we could all just meet, and then you guys could stay at the hotels down there by um, that place. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure my tails, because these are like 16 inch tails. Let me flip this. There we go. Let's try to. Am I going the right way? Wrong way. I know. I was like, why is it getting tighter? There you go. Tighter and tighter and tighter. And then I'll do the same with the polka dot. I'll make it longer. There we go. And we'll dovetail these because Steve thinks that it looked cool curled. And it might. I don't know. We won't know until we create it. <laughs> and then we shall see. We're ready, ready to go so that we can dip and stick all of our embellishments from our bow directly in there. Take this one, bring it on over. Oh, sure. Um, oh, Gene asked, were you at Reef Makers Live? No. I was not. But we said we're going to definitely try to go this next year. We'll see. Well, trying. Yeah. It's the first year I think they had it. We Our youngest daughter was getting married in November, so it just was not um, yeah, we were trying a to financial thing. Yeah. yeah, when you're trying to pay for a wedding, Just a little bit. Karen asked Steve, would you ask Kat where you find the chunky yarn this time of year for the pumpkin? Joann's. I'm looking at a lot of the stores that have the best sales. Sometimes you can add your coupons, like Joann's and Michael's allow you to use their coupons plus Hobby Lobby, so depending upon what you're looking for, what color, like this. Of Amazon, because that was just an easier way of having them deliver their product. You said that's like a butterscotch color? Yeah, someone called it butterscotch, and I was like, it kind of does. But I think when I was doing it, it reminded me of Tigger Tail. Like every time I was like weaving. Bed with my Chanel stem. So the nice thing about the Bodabra, depending upon how you hold it, I always hold it the same. So I'm always holding. I have a wide opening just to go just like this and then pull and then you're going Chanel's done. I think I popped it off. 
I felt it give way. Yep. We're doing green. Do you want to rub them? Mm -hmm. um, no. Green's fine. <coughs> I can get you further. No, green's fine. Okay. We're yeah, you probably only need to tie it maybe three or four times. Yeah, I was just really cinching it on there pretty tight. And it's funny. Oh, these were my, they're not my nice pipe cleaners. The other, oh. the red ones were a little thinner. So yeah. they had a tendency of giving way. I think Shinoda so. would be a good spot because the pipe cleaners I sell at Shinoda are like amazing. They're real <laughs> thick. You can poke your eye out with them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this and this is where our bow is going to go. So let me just go ahead and attach this. I like to attach them and then fluff them. Because if I fluff and then attach, I have to fluff again by the time I attach it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to attach this and then we're going to start the process of loop and tail. Good night, Teresa. She's, she's leaving us? Yeah, she said she's ready for bed. She's on the East Coast. I understand. Yeah. Um, loop and tail. So I'm just grabbing them from the bottom and pulling it opposite. So because we have a loop here, I'm going to grab the next one as soon as I can get my fingers through them. And we're going to go loop and tail. Do the same thing from the bottom. Because we have our red tail here. We want to see a red loop. And then we're doing, we have tail here. We're going to pull just like so. And we're going to make sure we have tail and then loop. And we'll be flush. Do the same thing. We're going to pull and pulling. And as we do, we start getting closer and closer to the front. So, tail. Need loop. <laughs> but I need this one to go. Well, this a way. lot of girls are volunteering you to do your own wreath makers lab. <laughs> But I don't Carrie know said, if I could do that. Carrie said, for all of us on the East Coast, have your event in January or February. When Wouldn't it's cold nice? here, they could go to California where the weather's nice. Yeah, that would... I don't know. I'd have to collaborate with a couple of other people. I could not pull this off on my own. It would just be way too hard. So, so what Steve's saying, basically, is we have these really long tails here. So, what you can do, this is what he wants to see, is... You're going to basically take this and you're going to wind it around your finger like so. And then you're going to take it and you're just going to kind of pull it so that you have these little spirals. So just wrap them. You could sit here and wrap and wrap and just kind of spiral, but it's easier if you just wrap them on top and then grab your bow and then just lightly pull them. So we're starting here. We're going to wrap, and wrap, and wrap, and wrap, and then we're going to pull. Same thing here. Just like so. I would love to do one in January, because that's like when we're slow anyway, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. So there's that which is, there's that. Now we've got to come back in and add some of these funky things. She's so, adding everything, including the kitchen sink. I'm not adding the kitchen sink. <laughs> but it has bells, it just does not have whistles. So, and these came from Shinoda, so these <coughs> are the ones that we're gonna kind of have kind of popping out. So what I'm going to do is the dip and stick. So because this is a deco mesh wreath, deco mesh. Just taking it and adding it to the deco mesh right underneath my ribbon. And I'm gonna kind of have some going that way. And these all have jingle bells in them. So 
genius. Anything you want to make at a craft fair, you can do to your heart's desire. You can help make it however you want because you're just not posting it on a public social forum to sell. When you do that, you run the risk of, you know, people sending you a cease and desist letter. So, yeah, but craft fair, craft fair, you can do NFL sports teams, Patriots, charge. Because if they don't sell, then you're kind of stuck with it all. Yeah. So I would do one, like you could do your favorite, you know, whatever it is, your your team's home <clears throat> team, whatever. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I wanted this to go this way. Um, and then if people are interested in others, like, well, do you have this sports team? You could say no, but those can be custom done. And then you could go ahead and take the orders for them right there. Yeah, you could make up a little custom read order form that we did mm -hmm. and have it there so they can just fill out their name, number, um, and tell you basically what they want. And you can just, they could reach out to you or you could reach out back to them. Yeah, and then it keeps you from having to create inventory that you don't need. I usually just create one sports team and say, hey, if you're interested in others, just message me. So I'm going to do some fun stuff like add these in here. Yeah. Little curly cues. Oh, sorry about the figure. She said she finished the witch hat while she was watching. You burned her finger. <laughs> I'm going to use one sorry, of the Peggy. loops just to kind of hold that there until it dries. Sherry, the name of her bow maker is just called the Bow Dabra. You can get it almost anywhere at Michael's, Hobby Joanne's, Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Yep. And you can use a 40 channel coupon. They're normally about 15 bucks. You should be able to get them for like eight or nine dollars. They have one similar to it called the Easy Bow Maker too. Yeah, I mean, I think the Easy Bow Maker, I've seen it, um, Hobby Lobby. It's in their seasonal item, or the seasonal aisle. So again, just lots of fun things you can kind of get this piece of glue. Hi, Lourdes. Oh, old Aha. Old Lourdes is on. Back in the LA Cellular slash AT&T days, right? Yep. Ah, oh, she said very cute. Beth Admire would love this one. Remember Beth? The old LA Cellular days. Mm -hmm. Right now, because this is a trademark and licensed item, I can only, like, if you're interested, message me. Um, this one's going for $149.99, mm -hmm. and it's with shipping included. Anywhere in the U.S. except for, what do we say, Alaska and Hawaii. Daisy, yes, you can make NFL football reads for craft fairs. Again. It depends on if you're a really, if you are a huge football city where you know that they sell a ton of football memorabilia, yes, go for it. I wouldn't make 20 wreaths of one football team, but I would make yes. maybe two or three and then, uh, you know, take additional orders. Yeah. That way you're not stuck with inventory that, what are you going to do with it? Now you're stuck with a football team yeah. of stuff that, you know, you couldn't really do anything with. So I like these little picks. They came from Hobby Lobby this last year. I have not seen them at Hobby Lobby this year yet. So I'm just, again, it's all about stuff, right? It's all about adding little fun picks. Yep. And Gene, I hope you heard Cat's reply. Yes, you can make um, NFL. Just don't go crazy. Just don't go crazy. I can honestly tell you there's been so many times people have told me, oh, make this read. So I make it and then I'm stuck sitting on it forever mm -hmm. until, you know, somebody comes along. I'd rather do them as custom orders. Lord asks, asked, what is the glue bowl you're using? It's a glue skillet. So it's just hot glue that's kept at a mild melting point. Mm -hmm. So that you can just kind of do a dip and stick and then the odds of you burning yourself with this It's pretty much non-existent and you can I mean, just take hood right you could just take gorilla glue sticks and just cut them up and throw them in and they will just melt down. Yep So if I think that one's by Surebonder, they're hard to find anymore by that. Yeah, that these ones are made, difficult. Yeah, they've made newer ones that are just as good I'm trying to pull the pick off of this again we're trying to just get it to do a wide variety of different things. And we're just attaching it. 
So the nice thing oh. though is all your glue threads, they dry so nicely, you can just peel them off. Oops. And you can just recycle your glue again. <laughs> so I think that's hey, Sandra. pretty much about it. Let me look. I have a couple more things. Do I want to add these? I don't think so. I think that would just seriously take it someplace I'm not sure I want it to go. Let me look at the other one. There are these giant red and green coils. Uh, Lourdes, I think Amazon is where those were at, the glue pots, glue skillets. You know, the easiest way to do it right now is um, Walmart, and you just get the six inch electric skillets. That's what I've been told. Hmm. And then you just cut up your Gorilla Glue pieces, and then you're ready to go. And when you turn it off, the glue just hardens, and it's ready for you to just turn it on the next time. It is. Hopefully it should have a little temperature thing that you can increase or reduce the temperature on. Yeah, and a glue skillet you have to, because you have to be able to set your temperature. Yeah. So I'm just adding these. I did add the little curly key thing. So let me show you what it looks like on the door. So I'm keep these off. <clears throat> and I added the little things to the bottom. So I just have them hanging off the bottom. So we'll see. And this is pretty heavy. What do you guys think? Do you think that we successfully completed our mission? Even though his head's leaning this way because that's where I stopped him. Yeah. There we go. I'm like, how far can get his head wrapped around that? And there you guys go. David said you're going to need a bigger door. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. one's going to be really wide. That one's probably 28 inches, I would say. It'll still fit in a box. It'll still fit in 24, probably. Yeah. 26. 26 yeah. maybe. We'll have to see. It'll still <clears throat> fit. You might have to take these things like this and just kind of tuck them up and yeah. then just gather the ribbon and kind of pull everything in, but it should all still fit. So there you guys go. The Grinch remastered, I guess, right? Oh, Sherry, she's oh my, I can't imagine making this. It's beautiful. Getting ready to attend my first week ever. Wish oh. me luck. Not luck, Good you luck. can do it. Just remember, practice makes... Well, Sherry, if you're not in a private group, join a private group and she shows you all new cool techniques. And then welcome to Christmas, right? Glitter, yeah. Glitter, yeah, glitter bombs. So remember we could do it either sign. So if you're interested in purchasing this and you don't like this sign and you want this one instead, I can change out the sign. Mm -hmm. So just let me know. And that's pretty much it. Any other questions you guys have? Remember, we're doing private group. We're gonna show you how to do the pumpkin um, two different ways. Sunday at five, so if you're in my private group, 17 a month. And then I, starting in September, it's gonna be eight additional tutorials on things that you can make and sell, except for that on Etsy. You can sell that, but just not on Etsy. Um, so we're, we're ramping up because as soon as Labor Day hits, 
It's crazy, but crazy good. It's what we live for. Any questions, Ben? Uh, that's it. They said they all said it turned out amazing. They loved it. Marvelous looks amazing, outstanding as usual. Thank We're you. We're getting closer to Christmas. It is. I think like how many? Somebody said so many Sundays before Christmas or something like that. It's crazy. Audrey said that is one full wreath. Looks outstanding. You made it pop. Uh, thank you. Uh, where did you get the signs? That's the kind of tough part. They're they're not on Etsy, right? They're on. They're on Facebook. So it's a Facebook page. It's their business page. So it's called S N S Wreaths and D Stash, right? Yes. I believe so. Yes. We'll have, to move. we'll have to verify because uh, I know Daisy, I think, put it on there. And um, yeah. we'll have to look again. It just says follow us on Facebook. It says SNS Ribbon and Sign Collections. But when I pulled up the link, because I actually went to their page and found it on Facebook, it's actually SNS Reese and D Stash. So um, hmm. there you go. They have their own thing. And then what they'll do is they'll basically sell you the sign. <clears throat> And pair it with like five or six different items you can order too. Oh, so, S- Cynthia said I've had no luck into the pumpkin wreath frame. Well, let me know if Cynthia Pope. No, Cynthia Kuna. Let me know because I have some extra. But the bad thing is, is because they're 18 inch diameter, these are way bigger than most of the stuff Dollar Tree sells. Um, they have to go in an 18 inch box. But I'll um, willing to ship you some. I think the worst case scenario for shipping is about 11 or $12. So just let me know if you're interested and I'd be happy to ship you some. Because I was lucky my son just happened to go into the Dollar Tree up in Barstow, which is like nobody goes to Barstow for anything. Mm-hmm. It's like a ghost town basically and they happen to have them. So I took them off. So I sell them to you guys. So. Um, yes, I'd love it then. I said awesome, love it. Um, Rita said love, love, love the pumpkins too. Oh, um, yeah. Karen asked one more time, where can you get the pumpkin yarn? Uh, Joanne's, Michael's, anywhere you can buy chunky yarn. That's just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I went to Walmart and Walmart just happened to have the the pumpkin, so I was like, okay, I guess this is what I need. And then I went home and I was like, okay, let's just start making it. So, but I've been told other people got theirs at Michael's, others got theirs at Joann's, Hobby Lobby. You're just looking for the chenille, fat, chunky yarn. Mm-hmm. I want to say it's, I don't have any of it laying around. I thought I did. Um, about a half inch in diameter, I think, is about how thick it is. So, um, where are you going? It's not in there, babe. Oh, it's not? No. It's like going to our grab closet. It's not there. Okay. Okay. So, private group, see you Sunday and uh, bring your stuff and I'll teach you guys how to do it. Hopefully simple. Just have a lot of faith and a lot of patience. Anything else? That's it. Have a great weekend, everyone. Hopefully you'll see me from Shenandoah tomorrow doing my last ribbon binge. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.